Action. Okay, um, that's what we got. That is our pattern piece. Let me get out of light here so you can see a little better. And what I used was a piece of cardboard, two ply. I like single ply shirt cardboard, but I didn't have any, so that's what I had to use. A wooden block, a pencil, wherever that went, and my left handed Damascus steel Japanese carving knife. And this pattern fits in here perfectly. And up oh, too far up. There she is. Uh, about two thirds the size of a dime. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six angles on it. Little notches and a bit of a curve here that needs to be cut out right there. Right there, that curve needs cut out. Straight edge, straight edge, slight curve into a point, slight curve into a point, straight line to a curve. Six edges, maybe eight if you count the curves. So I'm going to glue this to a piece of walnut. And I should have a piece of walnut right here somewhere. Somewhere. Here we go. I'm going to glue that to that piece of walnut right there. And it, it pretty much matches the color. Um, after it shows varnished, it'll be pretty close. So I'm going to glue this to here. Right about like that. Move it into the white so you can see it. Glue that with some brick glue right like that. Let her dry and cut her out with a piercing saw. So I'll show you a little bit of that here. So I have a little teeny little inset cut for where the neck was broke. And I mean she is small, about half the size of a dime. And uh, yeah, two thirds the size of a dime. And we're going to fit her in here. So I'll give you a look at what she looks like. Move this down here. I have got the bouncy uh, little tripod. And we're going to need more light, I guess. Okay, so you see this little hole right here. And after I do some fine tuned fitting, she will fit right there like that. I'll get some more light on the subject and be back in a minute. I'll do a little fine tuning. I have to use a file, a um, couple of files, and a scraper. I cut it out with the piercing saw and I'll be using my favorite left handed knife. And we're back working on the Chinese Ventura guitar. Um, Got to have it ready for Christmas. My nephew's flying in from Houston, and uh, he'll be getting it on Sunday morning. He does not know it's up here getting repaired, so I have the two inlays done. Let me move the camera angle here and get you centered up. This is a wobbly. This is that little wobbly Japanese tripod I got. So bear with me. And there's Samson. All right. As you can see right here there's a little bit of a run on it but that'll all be scraped off and smoothed off is the piece of walnut I replaced and then this is the piece of ebony I put in and it's not a perfect fit um, and I didn't expect it to be this thing was beat up really bad and so I'll fill in some of these cracks here with super glue scrape it all clear cut a new nut I'm going to use uh, I believe it's mastodon bone that you get from Stuart Mac uh, to make the the nut. And the bridge, I don't have, oh you can't see the bridge down there, let me open her up and give you a little bit of a twist here. The, the bridge, although oops, I'm, the bridge I do not have a bone blank to fit. So I'm going to have to use, you know, a remand plastic style. 
So, I'm going to show you the basics of the scraping here where the glue is overrun. And then I'll finish it up and show you a good picture of it. So let me bring this up some. Excuse this. My robot's going crazy. My robot's going crazy. Alright, let's see if we can zoom up a little bit more on that. And you can see, right now this looks kind of ugly. You can see where the cryosilic had run a little bit. This is a nitrosilic, I believe is what it's called. I may be wrong on that. Nitrosilic uh, finish right here. Oh, on this side, right here. It's nitrocell it's nitrocellulose. And this is nitrosilic. So it matches pretty darn good. Once you've got her scraped down, sanded, uh, polished, and buffed out, you can hardly tell it's there. So, let me get the chair. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, scraping for you, turn the computer off, finish it up, and uh, then show you what a looks, finished product looks like. Okay, you can see a little bit of the debris here. Camera shut off on me. And so what we do is just gently and uh, there you can see the nitrocell or uh, cryosilic come off. And we just sit here, keep scraping her. For heavier scraping, use the scraper itself. And there you can see I've got, nope. Yep. I might have a whole chip come up here, let me see. You can see the buildup on it. See if she'll knock off. So you just keep doing this. It's a slow process. It's a tedious process. You've got to be right on and you got to be careful because you can scratch the other finish. So you just want to hit right where you want to scrape. And that's my phone. Many blessings.